at me because I didn't come to entertain you. Don't look at each other. Close your eyes. I just want you to let the king speak to your heart. Holy Spirit, have your way. Go to the middle of my storm, please. It's just you and the king. Lord, you are the shelter and the place of refuge for all of us. You have your way right now, King Jesus. That's right. You're in the midst of a place right now. You don't know what to do next. I'm going to tell you what to do. You start thanking him in the midst. Start praising him in the midst. I watch my family go through it this week. To see them hurting only made me feel weak. See, I was searching for the right word to speak. But in the midst, man, I was facing my own doubt to defeat. That's when the Lord told me to jump to my feet. Cause I had blessings that were right in my reach I had to usher in his presence of peace I almost forgot about the promises he promised he'd keep Yeah, hey, he's a rewarder so continue to see A God of Lord, a supporter to the one that is me I cried an ocean, every tear that fell off of my cheek His arms are open to the broken, it's a love when he greets I know the wicked try to scatter the sheep But God's forgiveness is the realest thing you ever gon' meet hey, Even amongst the vultures and the leeches who leave It's an honor to give my life up for the gospel I preach Singing hallelujah in the middle of my storm. In the middle of, in the middle of, my of the storm, storm I see. I see. I see. Where does he get his strength from? How can he be so strong? You make me strong. When I point up to my king, and hey, can't you see the pain is killing us? And hey, can't you see the boat is filling up? I know that some I look ridiculous, but I refuse to give up and swallow the seed of bitterness. How could you close your eyes and sleep through this? How could you lift your heads and sink to this? See, with everything I believe in this, and I know God won't leave me where the evil and the sea for this. They say, where does he get his strength from? They say, how could he be so strong now? They like, where does he get his faith from? How could he still have hope after everything going on now? Any other man would have been gave up He would have perished, would have died When his faith played up Without my Jesus, man, I can't wake up Straight up, I know you wonder why I stay prayed up Hey, I trust when he tell me yes I trust when he tell me no I trust when he tell me stay I trust when he tell me go I lean on my own understanding, Lord, I obey If you learn to submit, then the path you have will be straight You were created on purpose and for purpose This is where you must let your prayers turn into worship you were created on purpose and for a purpose. And this is where you must let your prayers turn into worship. Singing hallelujah in the middle of my storm. In the middle of, in the middle of the storm, I see. I see. Where does he get his strength from? How can he be so strong? You better point up. Come on. Make me strong. When I point up to my king. I point up to my king, I point up to my king, cause you're the one who strengthens, the one who strengthens, the one who strengthens me, another worship song I sing, another offering I bring, cause you're the one who strengthens, the one who strengthens, the one who strengthens me, singing hallelujah in the middle of my There's only one who gets the glory and your furnace of affliction he's shaping you right now that storm that you're going through it was strategically and tailor-made for your growth that's what he does it, he puts us in these situations it's gonna add to your character perseverance some of y'all pray I want to have a heart of forgiveness and then God gives you someone to forgive and you like I don't want to do it it don't make sense man of God let me see my brother come here man of God Come here, I don't want to put you on blast. Come here, brother. Y'all stretch your hands towards my brother, man. You know what? You're the true definition of when I see a man standing, I got to give honor, honor's due. Y'all stretch your hands to my brother. Last time I, I uh, at an event, I met my brother. I'm just going to say, man, he was sunk in. Streets was eating him up. He says, I'm ready for change. The second time he came, he met me at the event with his bags ready. He was ready to leave that night. I said, whoa, homie, let me sleep. Then we come get you. 
Go with your family. You got a couple more hours of the family man. We come get you. He got on that bus. We picked him up. He went to Abilene, and that whole bus ride, the enemy was in his mind. Enemy was telling him, go back home, go. But you know what? He had so much and so sick and tired of life, sick of doing things his way. He finally made that decision. There's no plan B. For some of you, you got to come up to that. There's no plan B. When you have a plan B, you always go backwards. When there's no plan B, you, you're going to stick in it. In the midst of your trouble, in the midst of frustration, whatever you don't know going on, you're going to still keep pressing. And he stayed. And he went for Abilene, came over to the house. And I'm watching him and just looking at him. He could have been left if he wanted. But he did it because he wants Jesus more than he wants anything else. And that's why he's going to be blessed. Because when you seek and you search for, for him with all your heart, he said you find him. I can see the countenance in his eyes. This is a different man I'm looking at right now. And I thank God for you. Father God, I thank you for my brother. Continue to strengthen him. Continue to give him a heart, a father's heart, leadership, submission, God. Just to continue to be humble, Lord. To love his wife as, as you love the church, King Jesus. I thank you, Father God, for this day, Lord. This is all. This is why we go out and do it, Lord. This is why it's the purpose for the people and the souls. The transformation of the human heart is one of the greatest miracles you have ever let me witness on planet Earth, Lord. I speak blessings upon him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Love you, boy. Love you, man. Hey, go to the one. Hold up, before you. Hold up, hold up. Everybody, put your hands like this. I'm not gonna keep you that long. Put your hand. Now look at it. What you see? Miss Anna said, my hand. I see my nails, girl. You know what I see? I see fingerprints. Uh, what does fingerprints represent? Identity. Identity. Whenever there's a crime scene, what's the first thing they check for? When we hit the county jail, what's the first thing they do? Fingerprints. fingerprints. They identify who we are, right? Well, today God said to all of us, he said, look, I'm going to let you come into a place of rest with me for eternity. But I'm going to go look at the things you touch. Come and on. if I see the fingerprints of me on there, then I'm let you. But if I see your fingerprints, then I can't let you in. Because remember, he says, Lord, Lord, we did all these things in your name. We casted our demons. We did miracles. We did things. I rap, I rap Jesus songs. Lord, Lord. Come on now. Come on now. He, says, he says, for some people, he says, depart from me. Right. Workers of iniquity, I never knew you. Right. Why would he say depart from me? Because they knew about him. They didn't know him. And this is how you know you belong to him. When you're a reflection of who the father is. Come on. When I read that Bible, it's not to disprove anybody. When I read that Bible, it's to know who he is. And to improve people. That's it. I want to know who you are, Father, so I spend time reading, so I can be just like you. So everything I touch, every community, every neighborhood in Chicago, every state that I go to, every family, every enemy, I want to leave your fingerprints. Amen? Amen. Go ahead, man of God. Everywhere I go, and everything I do, when people look at me, Jesus, and I pray that they see you. Everywhere I go, and everything I do, when people look at me, that's right, Lord, and I pray that they see you. Stop standing out on this thing, and everybody sees your light. It's amazing how you make me feel. Don't you make me feel so right? And like standing on this deal, and everybody sees your light. It's amazing how you make me feel. Don't you make me feel so right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Blessed are those who open both ears and listen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Blessed are those who open both ears and listen. Check it out, y'all. Hey. What type of fingerprints you leaving on this earth? Are you touching them with love or are you leaving them with hurt? Yeah. What type of fingerprints you leaving on this earth? Are you touching them with love or are you leaving them with hurt? Hey, open the heavens up, open the heavens up. You died to give us new life. It's like, oh, these not are dead to us. Open the heavens up, open the heavens up. He died to give us new life. It's like, oh, these not are dead to us. Yeah. 
They say the judge shall walk by faith. I guess I'm justified. You gave me power to overcome all my lust and pride. You gave me power to overcome all the yucky side. Now my destructive side has turned to a productive side. You like that butterfly that came out the cocoon. I'm like that other guy who walked about the tomb. This the transformation, the salvation of the righteous. Walking in the finished work of Christ like God provided. Uh, and that should make you feel excited. A he brought heaven down to us. A heaven lives inside us. Yeah, and that should make you feel excited. A he brought heaven down to us. A heaven lives inside us. Yeah, that's why our life should look like him. And even though this world is dark, our light should never dim. And even in the midst of all our tests and all our trials, even in the midst of all our tears and all our smiles, it's like everywhere I go and everything I do. In Proverbs it says the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. That's to shun evil. That's to hate the things that God hates. That means if God can look at your life right now, and if he can go into your entertainment, he can go into your living room, he can go into your quiet place, if he can see things in your life that you do, things that entertain you, things that you conversate about, if these things offend him, and you're cool with that, then that's not the fear of the Lord. The beginning of wisdom is to have a heart that says, I hate the things that offend you, Lord. And today, that's all I came to do was to stir that love and that fire inside of you that you will evaluate yourself and say, God, maybe there's some things in my life that I'm doing. Maybe I respond to people that's not like you. Maybe I, I treat people different. Maybe, I, maybe my heart's not, not the way it should be, but I'm asking if you give me a new heart with new desires and give me the fear of the Lord so I don't enjoy doing these things. Amen? Amen. I met a man the other day. I'm just going to tell you, I was in Dallas. I was, um, he was very bold too because I was with my wife. I was sitting on this side. We were driving. Got some gas, my window rolled down, he pops up right up on me. Hey, you want to buy something? I'm like, hey, man. He's like, I got some Bluetooth headphones. They've been worn and everything. They're old. Charger old. He trying to sell me. I said, I don't want that stuff. That's... He's like, nah, ain't nobody worth I said, bro, stop lying, man. And he's like, uh. He said, I didn't need some money. And I said, I said, hey, you can't hustle me, man. For real. I said, what do you want? Huh? You, what you want to get high with you? What, what, just tell me what you want. He like, he, he looked around, he like, I just want some crack, man. I was like, got you. So I got a $20 bill. Jumped out of the car, I was waiting for this opportunity. Put the 20 in his hand and start declaring like, Father God, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I pray right now, Lord, that even if he goes back and gets high, that he's not comfortable in his lifestyle. I pray, look, look at my prayer for the fear of the Lord. I pray, God, he don't enjoy these things. The fear of the Lord is a beginning. Look, look what I, I look, the Holy Spirit had me declaring the first step, the beginning of wisdom, to hate the things that God hates, the things that are strong. Don't you know when I started speaking about God's not mad at him, God's madly in love with him, that the enemy's been lying to him. I prayed healing over his broken heart. I apologize for everyone who ever misrepresented the gospel to him. My God is not a thief nor a liar. He loves you. He's been waiting to restore you after my prayer in the name of Jesus. And just pouring out, when I look up, this man's eyes were crying. And he gave me the biggest hug ever. And then I got back in the car. I was talking to my wife. We were looking for the gold. When, I, when he came out, he didn't have a beer. He didn't have, he spent his $20, had a big old cold uh, iced tea drink. And he was like, he said, you, man of God. <laughs> and I pointed, up, I pointed up to King Jesus. Because everywhere I go, everything I do, when people look at me, Jesus, I pray that they see you. That's my story, man. That's what I want to do. When I went to the neighborhood to represent the other, the other sets and we used to go out there and do us, it's the same thing. We go into enemy, enemy territory and we have the blood stain banner covered all of us. And they know what's real. Yeah. I mean, I travel to every neighborhood, not just Chicago. I'm in Compton, L.A., while we in Detroit, everywhere. Yeah. Preaching to the Pachucos, the Chola, whoever they at, I want them. Yeah. And check it out, they only want what's real. Yeah. They don't, they, man, they got so many churches on the corner, they don't know which one to pick from. Yeah, it's eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one here gonna save my soul? 
Then they hop from church to church to church with no roots. But you know one thing that they can never identify, they can never, uh, never uh, ever go against is when they witness the hand of God upon your life. That's why I say I'm not here to, to dispute about doctrine or disbelief. I'm just here to love and converse and love and let you know that the Father loves you. He's been waiting to restore you. That's it. Because some of these dudes, they don't know nothing about scripture. So when you start quoting scripture and all the knowledge you have, it doesn't do nothing. But when they see the love that edifies, yeah. oh, it does something. Oh, yeah. It shakes them up inside. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's different than this, Vato? He's talking about, I got street love, but what's this Jesus love he's talking about? Oh, this love over here is eternal, homeboy. Yeah. And you don't got to put in work. He already put in work for you. Yeah. That's Come the on. good part about it. Then we won the battle. Yeah. You don't know who's going to win that war. Well, eventually you lose that war, but this war we already won. Yeah. Amen. 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 Let me see if this goes down. I, I wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get down here with y'all.